welcome back to my channel. I'm going to fix my hair. Um, again, my name is Allie. If you haven't been to my channel before, I am a hospice nurse. I'm also a single mom. Um, today's video is going to be regarding how to get started on Poshmark. Um, Poshmark, if you guys don't know, is a reselling app. Um, you can sell clothes, makeup, um, kind of those types of things. You can't sell our like books, you know, toys, things like that. It's not like that's like more Mercari, I think. Mark, I started Poshmark because, um, well, I'm a single mom and I'm always looking for ways to kind of bring in any extra income I can, um, where, you know, I know we all have so many clothes sitting around, shoes, things like that, that we don't use. Um, but we don't really want to throw out either or donate. So it's kind of like a nice middle ground. People can kind of get certain items for cheap, um, unique items that they might not be able to find anymore. Um, and you can kind of contribute to that and also make some income. The one, so the first thing to know about Poshmark is they will take some of your, um, sale. Excuse me while I fix my eyelashes. Um, the second thing to know is that they do pay for shipping. So you don't have to worry about trying to calculate shipping orders, whatever. It's $7.11 expedited shipping right now. They ship via USPS. Um, so that brings me to my third point. They use the United States Postal Service. So if you go onto the United States Postal Service's website and you create an in account you can get boxes for free through them um, you can use I believe you can you have to use the ones that are not flat rate they're not um, international rate they're just the plain priority mailboxes so make sure you get priority mail make sure it's not um, flat priority flat rate those are different uh, labels that you have to print out so I made that mistake once I tried to ship a flat rate box using one of the labels from Poshmark and the postman wouldn't take it because it was contraindicating labels. I don't know. Okay, the fourth thing is you are going to want to work on your setup. So that's what we're kind of going to address today. Um, listing it is going to be my, probably my final point. We're going to talk about listing and how you want to list things on there. Yeah, it'll be good. So let's get started on how to actually display your items on Poshmark so that they're resellable. And I will show you my setup. Um, so this is an item. I'll turn on this. This is an item I'm trying to put up for sale. Um, it's a cute little top. My daughter doesn't use it, never has. Um, but it's super cute. Either way, perfect for the upcoming fall, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down and display it like so. I have my ring light right up here, which is something that you're going to want. So you're going to want a lighter background. Depending on the item, I like to use um, a soft, fluffy white blanket. So I have my item set up right here. Um, you want good lighting. Another thing that I would suggest, another thing that I want to be in a well-lit room, like I said, a plain background. You can add some decorations, um, you know, like very minimal stuff, um, little accessories, like I'm going to add a cute little Halloween bow. Um, always have a good lint roller around because that does, that does help. <laughs> and just Make sure your item is clean. Before you list on Poshmark, I would suggest, again, looking over their rules and regs and um, kind of how they, what they want you to do. But I would sell mostly lightly used items, um, unless it's like a vintage item. That's something you can't really help because it's vintage. If you're gonna use something a little more heavily used, what I've done, especially for my little one's clothes, is I sell them in bundles. That way people get more bang for their buck because you, it is $7.11 to ship. Um, so that's kind of expensive. So you are going to want to try to, you know, kind of draw in the, the buyer. Um, you can also do something called a seller's discount, which is what I do if someone has three, purchases three or more items, that's six, that's six, not three, three or more items, they get a 10% discount. Um, and another nice thing about Poshmark is you can also make offers to people. So people can add a bunch of stuff into their cart, which is called a bundle. Um, and you can make an offer and see if the seller accepts. I usually offer um, quite a significantly less number depending on the item, but I will offer like $10 off if I see they have a bundle of like five or more items. Even though they, they do have that seller's discount, I'll offer more. Um, so listing the item. So yeah, plain background, 
maybe a cute little accessory that goes with the theme like this is Halloween so I'm gonna be doing like a bow or something like that um, and yeah, let's get started I'll show you how I kind of I'm in the most well-lit area I think in my home which is okay that might work for a little bit so my pumpkin t-shirt here and then take it I usually like to take it with my phone um, but if you have um, connect like I connect my phone and my iPad so that the um, pictures upload to my iPad and I can edit them if I need to so cute little bow right there um, I try to have the lighting as even as possible so you close the curtains your ring light should be enough now I understand that at the beginning a lot of people probably won't want to invest in a ring light and I totally totally understand that where is that little bit of light coming from so I invested this like further through my um, thing um, but I like to take them down like this so straight on to the uh, the item as much as I can let's see oh I don't want portrait that's why you're so close um, and it's okay to, if the blanket has some wrinkles in it it might even look a little bit cuter um, try to get some angles I like to use more of a, a cooler light on my items that way they look a little more um, I guess flushed plush is it flushed out flushed. <laughs> On the item so like I'll take one really really close to the pumpkin face yeah that's cute so like one like this that's really cute towards the pumpkin face um, and I'll take one that's a little bit more back like this um, and another important thing to always get while you're doing your Poshmark videos is the tag you're always going to want to get the tag in there so they can see it usually has where it's made, the size, um, it has the type of material that's made, um, and I'll show you. So we took our pictures of this now, um, and we're going to list it, and I'll okay, show you so how we're going to put a listing up. So I'm going to select all my photos that I would like for my listing down at the bottom. And it's going to come to a selection to crop the photo if you choose. And then you can also choose filters if you would like. I usually don't do the filters. Um, and so, yep, here we go. Listings up. And now we're going to put in our title, which is, I'm going to put like pumpkin kids t-shirt. If I can spell pumpkin, backspace, find a pumpkin. Somewhere in the emojis, looking for a pumpkin, lots of fruits. Where's pumpkin? And eventually we'll find a pumpkin. I find it's a little more attractive to put emojis in the picture. It draws a little bit more attention to your title um, of your item. So let me try putting pumpkin in again. Yay, I found a pumpkin. Okay, so now we type our title in. I do capital capital letters for most of my titles depending on what it is so yep another pumpkin cute done okay now we're going to put in our description so in our description we're going to use words that are attractive to buyers like in like new condition or close to new or new with tags um, and we're also going to put in what type of material the item is because they will ask that in a kind of makes it so that you don't have to answer so many comments that people leave down below. So, yep, material type. Um, put a description of what is on the shirt or pattern if you want. Um, sometimes you gotta look for the words. You know, I put descriptive, like there's glitter on the pumpkin or what color the pumpkin is, um, anything that, you know, describes what it is in a little bit more detail. I think it really helps it stand out to buyers when they have a description, kind of like when they're shopping online. Yep, always put little details like how long the sleeve length is, any detailing on the sleeves. Um, this shirt had ruffles on the three fourth sleeves.
one. Another important thing is um, to list colors, especially in online buying, because sometimes colors can be distorted online. So you want to just make sure you put in all those little details so your buyers know exactly what they are getting on Poshmark. Little descript descriptor here of what they're going to get. Super cute. Of course, another pumpkin. And then that's the description. So now we pick out our category. I'm going to go over to the kids. And I don't know where to put this, so I'm just going to put none. One, you don't, some of these are optional size. For this, it says medium on the tag, but it is actually a 4T if you look at the website sizing chart. So I'm going to put what. Um, see, I look it up. So I went back to the website and see and saw what size the the shirt actually was. So it's a 40. Yay, change that. Brand, they didn't have the brand. So if they don't have the brand, you can always type in the brand as well. And then just add it. So colors, of course, you can only pick two colors when you select your colors. So just select the ones that are more prominent. New with tags, I always like to put yes or no. Original price, you can put whatever the original price was or zero if it was for like a gift or something like that. Yeah, and see how I just checked the website to see what they were listing it as right now. So I want to go below what the website is because it is not a brand new item. So now that my item is listed. Okay, so that's how you list your item. Um, you just go, you want to download the app, set up an account. Um, they're going to ask you for bank information as well when you set up your account because they, you can't get direct deposit when you make money and get it directly, well, deposit it into your account. It is super easy. Um, one thing I did forget to do there when I list it, if you have any accessories that you're showing with your item, you have to make sure that you list um, does not come with bow, does not come with shoes, or whatever you list it with, um, just so that there's no cat, um, there's no mix up, because you never know, people are people, and they're going to assume that what's in the picture might come with it, even though you list it only as the shirt. Yeah, that happens. Um, it's never happened to me, but I'm sure it's happened in the world. <sighs> um, detailed it, um, it's always good if you can go back to the website and kind of review your object if you know or your item that you're selling to see if you have everything correct if you have all the details um, and if the sizes are kind of wonky and you're not really sure how to list it you can always put the link to the description of the item that you're selling um, to the website um, where they have the size charts just so there's no miscommunications I know that's a big thing on Poshmark is people are kind of always asking about sizes how does it fit um, and what I tend to tell people is that everything fits everyone different. So it can fit me one way and it's going to fit you another way. I can't tell you exactly if it's true to size, um, myself, because to be honest, I haven't really found like a base to say this is exactly my size because everything's so different. Hey, and a few other things, um, sorry, I got interrupted, but a few other things about selling on Poshmark, um, you're going to want to look up the price of the item that you're looking to sell um, its market value and also you're going to want to look up on Poshmark how much everyone else is selling it for and try to go below that mark so you have the best price um, of course only list it for what you think it's valued at like if it's something brand new you still have to go below market value um, Unless it's like Louboutins or something. It's still good to go below because it is supposed to be like a used site where people get good deals. Um, so that's what I do. I, I look up how much people are selling the items for first before I list them just so I know how to make my items look a little more marketable, I guess you could say. I know the lowest price is probably going to get the, the sale. Um, and always, 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 like I said, look up what it's going for on retail as well so you can kind of get a guesstimate as to how it will cost used um, or how much people are even selling it for on eBay or how much the website's selling it for um, and like I said go below it so that you look you know like 
better than everybody else. Your price is going to stick out to them if you're the one selling it for less. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. One thing you're going to want to do on Poshmark is link it to your Pinterest account um, so that it shares directly to Pinterest because I've made sales off of Pinterest. You can link it to your Facebook. You can link it to your Facebook if you want. I don't because I find it very annoying to have all the clothes posting. Um, and they have a thing called, let's see if I can find one. So when you go on to your app, like this, this is the Poshmark app, go down to search. Come on, come on. Oh, shop, sorry, not sh search shop. And then you can see this parties right here. Yep. Shoot. Um, you can see this parties right here. So you can tell when it says today at 10, my finger decided to crack open, um, today at 10, so PM. So what you do is in those parties, you share your clothes. So they have different brands, like the next one at midnight is gonna be Michael Kors, Coach, Cole Han, and more. Um, so like higher, um, higher price fashions designer brands, whatever, um, best in dresses and skirts, like things like that. So you sell them and then what happens is other posh mark, mark other poshers sell, share your stuff to, um, their people or they sell it or they share it back to the party or they share it to their followers, whatever. So that way your stuff gets circulated <coughs> a little bit more, um, so it's always good. So if somebody shares your item, it's always good to, it's always, you know, kind of courtesy to share it back, to share one of their items, items back. So that's why the parties are important is because that's where you're going to get a lot of your items shared. Why is, oh, it's a tortoise lens. I was like, what is that? Are my glasses broken? Um, yeah, so that's something to look out for. I haven't been doing it as much because I can't really keep up with all of the, the parties. Um, and then every once in a while, if I see a lot of people are liking a certain item, um, another good thing is to just drop the price and it will pop up on those people who liked it and it'll pop up on their like feed or they'll get a notification that the item they liked, the price has dropped. Um, so yeah. And like I said, it's always good to haggle with people, go back and forth. Um, you can also do trades as well, I think. Um, like trade one item for another. I don't do that because I'm strictly here for profit. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I kind of make my way through Poshmark. I've, I mean, lately I haven't earned a ton because I haven't been doing it, but now, you know, it's kind of, I need to get rid of some stuff and I don't feel like donating it. I've donated a ton of stuff. These are things that I would rather just sell on there so someone else can really, really, really enjoy them um, rather than getting lost in the pile at Goodwill because yeah, I've seen that mess. The key takeaways to sell on Poshmark, make sure your items are marketable, um, that they're in like sell by season or sell just before, sell in season stuff just before the season starts. Cause people are already shopping for fall right now and winter. Um, and always have a nice crisp kind of clean background, not too crowded. Um, good lighting is always good. You can always edit the photo, but don't edit it so much that you edit out any flaws. Um, if there are any flaws, make sure you mark that in the note because if something comes not shipped like it's supposed to, like it's damaged or it wasn't described like how it was supposed to, um, you can lose your, your money on that and also possibly the item um, as well. So, and you also want to make sure that you are pricing your items correctly. So price it below what most people are pricing it. Um, and that way maybe you'll sell more. That's kind of the goal. Unless, like I said, it's something that is very, very valuable, like a Louboutin shoes or um, Louboutin bags, something like that. Um, those are kind of, if, you know, and the, Poshmark will catch things that are fake. So don't try to sell fake items. Um, I wouldn't because also the, um, the audience who shops Poshmark are in tune to they're there to buy um, real items, not fake ones. So don't try to do that to anybody. Um, yeah.
So have fun with it. It's kind of a cool way to make a little money and you can kind of start your own little business um, and enjoy. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.